I am one of the representatives. My name is Jürgen Springfeld. And uh, the other two in this project is the physiotherapist Anneli Nilsson, who has the skeleton on, and also Sophie Nyboom. Uh, Anneli works as a physiotherapist doing the uh, clinical test. And uh, Mrs. Nyboom, she is helping us with the CE marking for the possibility to sell this in, into Europe. Uh, as I said, my name is Jürgen Springfeld, and I was approached uh, by Robert Allen two years ago because I work as a uh, business coach here in uh, Create, which is a uh, company for both uh, Munktel Science Park and Westeros Science Park. And um, uh, Robert Allen had found this skeleton somewhere, and they asked me, if I could uh, come as a board member into the uh, subsidiaries which they were going to set up in Sweden. And uh, because the rules say that 50% of the board members in a um, European uh, company has to be located into Europe. And uh, so we are two Japanese, myself and, an, and another Swedish uh, member. And uh, this first phase here is that uh, Danderitz uh, Hospital is helping us with a clinical test. So uh, that is for 10 patients uh, with stroke. And uh, Anneli is helping them. And up till now, you have working on patient number five or so. Uh, yeah. And so the collecting of data there will be uh, until midsummer, uh, before summer or so. And um, then the, t the um, data will be analyzed and by Professor Borg, and also uh, they will be doing a medical art uh, article, uh, scientific article published in, um, in a medical journal uh, later this year. And also at the same time, Mrs. Nybom is helping us with the uh, CE marking. As I said, uh, how, how should this be uh, marketing into Europe? It has to be CE marked. But in Japan, uh, this, uh, I think this is the third generation of the HAL suit. And uh, uh, when I spoke to them in uh, November, there was around 90 hospitals in, in Japan. In February, there was uh, 130, and uh, last week, they say that they have 150 hospitals in uh, Japan using this. So this is only for rehabi rehabilitation, uh, and not for domestic use, so to say. Uh, and, uh, well, I think we go for questions from there. It's better. And... Uh, yeah, you can do a little walk. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> yeah. uh, the idea with this is that when you have a stroke and uh, you can't move a leg, then uh, you can have this in two different modes. The first mode is anatomically, and it goes after the, your weight. So uh, can you demonstrate a just a little bit if you... Is that possible to? Uh, uh, you can. Okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, I can. You can. You can tell. And I can switch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so okay, yeah, like Jorgen said, uh, you can. Uh, th there is two uh, two different modes, and uh, one mode is when uh, the suit is. Uh, uh, it's uh, detecting bioelectrical signals from your muscles and it uh, improves your own walk just to enhance, uh, enhance the, the walking. And there's also dif another mode when uh, you start the walking with way shifting your weight. So you shift your weight to your left leg and then it automatically moves forward with the right leg. And that is this mode Anneli has on the right leg.
And the next mode, <laughs> what happens? Yeah, yeah, like I said, the, the other mode is when, if, if the patient of the stroke has really, really weak uh, bioelectrical signals uh, and they are not able to move by themselves, uh, HAL can still detect these really, really small signals and they will uh, increase them. And uh, you can, there are a lot of different modes uh, on the suits. You can choose how much you will increase uh, both uh, uh, the movement of the hip joint and of the knee joint. So you can, you can uh, uh, enhance them separately, how much they will uh, help you with your walking. Any questions? Uh, <laughs> uh, and I can okay. also also tell you uh, that if, if the if the patient is spastic, uh, so so you have these uh, abnormal movements, you can also put on a filter that will lower lower uh, the spastic movements. So your walk will be much much cleaner, and it's easier for a patient to actually uh, learn how to uh, learn uh, the walking pattern again. So. Uh, Emily? Uh, do you have any questions mm -hmm. to any of us? <laughs> Maybe I didn't say, but uh, this is an um, invention uh, by Professor Sankai in, in Japan. So the Cyberdyne Sweden is uh, is just a an, an, um, company for marketing more. And uh, our next phase will be to find studios uh, in, in uh, Europe who are interested to, to have this. And uh, as I said, uh, in, in Japan it's 150 hospitals. And they have also some one open studio that clients, patients can go and train. And a, a training lesson, how long, how many minutes or Hours do work. Yeah, the patients use the suit for around, yeah, it's depending on the patients, but it's around uh, 20 up to 60 minutes per session. And they, we have five sessions a week. Uh, so it's, it's a really intensive training, which we know it's, it's important when you have a stroke and, and you're going to yeah, learn how to walk again, for example. So it's, it's important to have this intense training. So yeah, and also the uh, idea behind the the invention is that it will be more effective than traditional um, rehabilitation, but that's later to be proven. The difficulty with that is that you have no uh, test patients, so to say, uh, to, to compare with. Uh, so. And also the, the intention is also that when you do like this, uh, your nerves will will uh, build up again from from two two uh, sides, one from the brain downwards and one from the leg upwards to meet each other. That's also an idea. Any questions, anyone? <laughs> Oh yeah. How comfortable is it to walk with them? I mean, how how strange does it feel? It's not so heavy to wear actually, and uh, when we use it on the patient, we use it with this harness and the body weight support system for security. So because our patients can fall, so. Uh, but but it's it's quite comfortable to wear actually, so um, yeah, of course you can have some pain from straps and so on, but nothing nothing more than that. So so it's quite comfortable and doesn't feel so heavy, actually. So yeah, it's comfortable. Another. Uh, I can also say that uh, this is for medical uh, treatment and reasons, but it has also been used after the. Uh, uh, catastrophe at the uh, nuclear plant uh, Fukushima 
their workers should go in and, and uh, work inside there and to uh, be um, protected by the uh, radiation they ha need to have uh, suits in, in lead and that's very heavy so they they have this is also which we, we didn't uh, show here but it's also with the, for the arms so you can have a, a complete suit and with that they have a um, lead uh, uniform above and also I think it was a cooler system because it was so heavy so you, you are able to work eight hours with a lead suit so it's uh, if you use it for for um, uh, weightlifting you can lift uh, around 300 kilos with it but that's not the purpose <laughs> Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Bye.